I was praying for someone the other day, um, some struggles that they were going through and some decisions they have to make. And I kept seeing a coin and both sides were the same. And I kept hearing two sides of the same coin. As I prayed more, what I, what I was seeing was them grabbing the dreams that God put in them and taking those dreams in their own hands and striving to get them. So striving to succeed in them. And every time they almost got to that place that they thought was success, they fell and they had to start over. And they strived again and strived again. And God was saying, pray that they see the other side of the coin. See the dreams and and giftings and talents and goals and visions that are in you, God put in you. He just destined to bring out of you a certain way. And sometimes as, as we as humans in our flesh, we see something God's given us and we grab hold of it and we run and we try to control the narrative. But God said, pray that they would see the other side of the coin, that success that they continue to strive for They will never get that success because they're striving for it. I give them the strength to do the things they need to do and to get to the success that they see. So when you give your dreams to God and you say, show me how to do this, you will never have to strive to get to that place of success. God will always place grace and favor on you and destiny each step you take to get there and you will stay in a place that is rested and peaceful, though it's not always going to be easy, but you will stay in that rested place knowing that every step is destined by God because you will reach that successful goal because He has led you to it. So if you're a person that feels like this is you, that you, you, you have these dreams, these visions, these goals, and you're always striving to get to that successful place. I want to pray that that is broken off of you today. Father, today I ask that you just help each and every one of us loosen that grip and let those dreams, goals, and visions, let them go and give them back to you, Father. We come and lay them at your feet right now. And we thank you that you have put these in each one of us, Father. Forgive us for picking these up and trying to run with them ourselves, trying to push doors open that shouldn't have been opened yet and just i just ask father for grace to surround us all as we lay these down and we listen to your call and we ask that in this day that 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 striving that spirit of striving that spirit of of pride is broken in the name of jesus and that our eyes are unveiled to see the other side of the coin that we will no longer strive but we will thrive because you are leading us you are guiding us and you are directing us to your purpose bringing kingdom to earth we thank you father for what you are doing in each one of us we thank you for dreams for visions for goals and we thank you for using us to fulfill those things that you have put in each one of us to bring your kingdom to earth and to share your good news. In Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. Amen.